the question is why have the chinese chosen this particular time to move what is it about india's situation that has made china act in such an aggressive way what is it about this moment in time that has allowed the chinese to have the confidence that they can move against a country like india and to understand that you have to go into multiple spaces countries are protected not by one particular thing but by a confluence of forces by a confluence of systems okay uh, so a country is protected by its foreign relationships it is protected by its neighborhood it is protected by its economy it is protected by the feeling that its people have the vision that its people have and what has happened over the last 6 years that on all those areas india has been disturbed and disrupted and i'll cover each one of them let's start with foreign policy our relationship with outside world used to be with multiple countries we had a relationship with america strategic partnership with america i would say and that is very important uh, we had a relationship with russia we had a relationship with europe and these countries used to help us maneuver in the world today our relationship has become transactional we have a transactional relationship with the united states we have disturbed our relationship with the russians we have a transactional relationship with europe now let's come to our neighborhood earlier nepal was a friend bhutan was a friend sri lanka was a friend our neighborhood other than pakistan was working with india and saw itself as being partnered with india today nepal is angry with us if you go to nepal and you speak to the nepali people they are furious with what has happened sri lankans have given a port to the chinese maldives is disturbed bhutan is disturbed so we have disrupted our foreign partners we have disrupted our neighborhood now let's come to the economy our pride something that india used to go to the rest of the world and talk about boast about worst economic growth 50 years no end in sight absolute disaster unemployment highest in 40 50 years so our strengths have suddenly become our weaknesses we told the government that look please realize that we are becoming vulnerable all these things are connected they're not separate when you look at a nation you have to look at all these factors and you have to act take into account all these factors we told them listen for god's sake inject money into the economy fire the economy and do it immediately protect the small and medium businesses they refused to do it so today you have a country which is economically in trouble in trouble as far as foreign policy is concerned in trouble with its neighbors and that's why the chinese have decided that this is possibly the best time to act and that is why they have acted chinese don't do anything without thinking about it strategically in their mind they have mapped out the world and they are trying to shape the world uh, that's the scale of what they are doing that is what gwadar is uh, that is what belt and road is it is it is a restructuring of the planet so when you're thinking about the chinese you have to understand that that that's the level at which they're thinking now at the tactical level they are trying to improve their position whether it's galwan whether it's demchok or whether it's pangong lake the idea is to position themselves they are disturbed by our highway they want to make our highway redundant and if they are thinking larger scale they want to do something with pakistan in kashmir so it is not simply a border issue it is a border issue designed to put pressure on the prime minister of india and they are thinking of putting pressure in a very particular way and what they are doing is they are attacking his image they understand that in order for mr narendra modi to be an effective politician in order for mr narendra modi to survive as a politician he has to protect the idea of 56 inch and this is the real idea the chinese are attacking they are basically telling mr narendra modi 
that if you do not do what we say we will destroy the idea of mr narendra modi as a strong leader now the question is how will mr narendra modi react will he take them on will he take on the challenge and say absolutely not i'm the prime minister of india i do not care about my image i'm going to take you on or will he succumb to them the worry i have so far is that the prime minister has succumbed the worry i have is that chinese are sitting in our territory today and the prime minister has said publicly that they're not which to me tells me that he's worried about his image and he's defending his image and if he allows the chinese to understand that they can manipulate him because of his image the indian prime minister will no longer be worth anything for india if you deal with them from a position of strength you can work with them you can get what you need and it can be actually done but if they sense weakness then you've had it well the first thing is you're not going to take on china without a vision and i don't mean a national vision i mean an international vision belt and road an attempt to change the nature of the planet india has to have a global vision india now has to become an idea and it has to become a global idea the thing that's going to protect india is actually thinking big of course we have this border issue and we have to resolve this border issue but we have to change our approach we have to change how we think this is the the point at which the road parts if we go this way we become a major player if we go this way we become irrelevant and that is why i am aggravated because i can see that a huge opportunity is being lost why because we are not thinking long term because we are not thinking big and because we are disturbing our internal balance we are fighting amongst each other uh, just look at the politics all day long all day long uh, indian is fighting indian and it is because there is no clear cut vision going forward and i know that the prime minister is an opponent my responsibility is to question him my responsibility is to ask questions and put pressure on him so he does his work his responsibility is to give the vision it's not there i can tell you guaranteed it's not there and that's why china's in there today now it is pretty clear that the chinese have entered our territory this disturbs me it it makes frankly my blood boil how can some other nation just come into our territory now if you as a politician want me to keep quiet and lie to my people when i am absolutely convinced i've seen the satellite photos i speak to the ex army people if you want me to lie that the chinese have not entered this country i'm not going to lie i simply will not do it i i i don't mind my whole career goes to hell but i'm not going to lie I think the people who are lying about Chinese entering our country are the people who are not nationalistic. I think the people who are lying and who are saying the Chinese are not in India, they are the people who are not patriotic. So frankly, I don't care if it costs me politically. I don't care if I have no political career at all after that, but I am going to say the truth as far as Indian territory is concerned.